If you feel your sugar is going up and down out of nowhere on your continuous glucose monitor or on your finger stick, I have a very good reason why. Actually, I have about 100, but I'm going to tell you four of the most common. First, if you're on insulin, likely you're afraid to take your insulin properly because you're afraid of dropping your sugar after taking your insulin. But most likely the problem is you're having your insulin after you've already started your meal. So if you take your insulin here, it's too late. The spike has already happened. And therefore the meal will also be out of your system. So while the insulin is still in your system, so then it drops your sugar. The solution is to take the insulin 15 minutes before the meal. If you do this, you will not have the spike or the drop. Second, you could be on a medication like Chardians where it works the best. It's an SGLT2 inhibitor. It has you pee out the sugar you eat. Other brands are for Siga, Stiglatro. You have to take that 30 minutes before you eat breakfast altogether. If you do that, you're gonna lower your A1C another half a point. So think 30 minutes before, once a day. If you do that, you're gonna stop the spike that normally happens with breakfast with that drug that I see with all my patients because they take it after they eat breakfast and the rest of the day looks good, but their breakfast looks atrocious. You could be thinking that you're low every morning. That would look like this. You might think the sugar is very low at four to maybe eight o'clock in the morning. And the reason why is because your monitor that's on your arm can't get fluid in. It's a really, really tiny needle. And so what happens is when it drops slow, it's not real. It's just that no blood's getting in there in the first place. If you're low in the morning and then feel like when you wake up, all of a sudden it shoots up and you can't figure out why it's high. It's because unfortunately it was probably high all night. And then last but not least, you're having too much carbs. So if you're insulin resistant and on a continuous glucose monitor and you feel like your sugar goes up and then drops down out of nowhere and you're not on any medications and you can't figure out why, likely you're having a high carb meal and then your body's over secreting insulin, which is causing the sugar to drop a few hours later, leaving you ravenous and at the the fridge literally maybe three hours after the meal. All right. I hope that helps. Bye.